All right, here, I'm here with Rick. Hey, Rick, uh, what do you work for? Well, this weekend, I'm working for Barbarian Apparel. I partnered with Josh to work these uh, district tournaments and the state tournaments for the OAC this year. So. How, how many how many years have you guys been doing this with the OAC? Uh, Barbarian's been partnered with the OAC. This is their second year being partnered with them. Me personally, I've been running sectional tournaments for the last five years. The OAC. Okay, you said something really important there because a lot of people, I think they come up to you and they're like, hey, you're that guy that works for the OAC, but you really work for Barbarian Apparel, right? Right, at Barbarian Apparel, and then I have my own company called A Plus Tournaments, which is actually what runs the OAC sectionals. Okay, so. okay, so we can see how that confusion kind of happens, yeah, though. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is your first year at the state tournament, though? First year working the state tournament. Yeah. Okay, and then how many years have you done the sectionals? Section was probably about five years. So what are your, you know, obviously the OAC thinks a lot about you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, you in particular too, right? Uh, uh, what do you think uh, about the OAC as far as a partner? Oh, I think it's a great organization. Like, everything's really organized and structured. You don't always get that. With other, I work with a lot of different organizations. But the OAC is just top notch as far as the infrastructure and organization of the tournaments and things like that. I think it's great for the parents. They always seem like they're really informed uh, about everything that's going on. They do a great job on their website, keeping things out there for everyone to know. So awesome. it's been great for all both of us on both sides, I think. So what's, uh, what's the hottest seller out of the tournament so far or, or this year? What's the big trend in, in the apparel for you guys? Well, what's been popular today are these uh, black uh, warm-up shorts. They have po they actually have pockets in them. Okay. And uh, we brought them and uh, didn't know how they would do, but kids seem to be loving them. It's probably the top sales thing today and yesterday. Okay. So, so but uh, are you seeing? So a lot of people, um, we're seeing the trend now with like the two piece and stuff like right. that. Are, are you seeing more and more people at the youth level adopt that? I haven't really seen that many kids wearing those yet. I don't know if they've just not fully ingrained into it yet or what it is, but. I, I feel like it's going to get more popular in the next couple of years, but right now I don't have. I still sell more singlets than the two pieces. Yeah, so uh, I mean, we were. I was having a conversation with you know some wrestling buddies, and we were talking about you know why no one in college or do, does that or anything. But it's kind of like those people all were raised wearing singlets, right? right? So why would you change once you get to like the pinnacle of your career? Right. But I think what we'll see probably is now these these younger these high schoolers that are you're starting to see it at the high school level a little bit. Hopefully then that'll trickle up maybe into the higher levels. You think that's probably accurate? Well, I mean like Flow National started that's what they supply for their championship gear. Yep. The kids wrestle on the shorts and t shirt. So I think that'll get some of those and then like you said, kids get coupled wrestling and what they're used to. So like these kids are starting at like seven years old wearing the two piece, they'll probably wear the two piece forever, but uh, they can, I don't even think, like in Pennsylvania, I don't even know if the youth kids are allowed to wear it. I don't think they approved it for this year, but I, I, I think it'll take off in the next couple of years. Awesome. Hey, well, uh, I know the OAC loves having you here, and I uh, hope you uh, have a great tournament, and uh, thanks for all that you do. All right, man. Thanks. All right, take care.